This week, the IFA heads to Grand Isle, Louisiana for the 2019 Kayak Championship presented by Hobie. Then we'll head south to Australia for the Hobie Worlds, the most prestigious kayak event on the planet. We'll also stop in at iCast for a look at the all new Hobie Mirage Drive. We've got a big show ahead and the action starts right now. Welcome to Grand Isle, Louisiana, and the 2019 IFA Kayak Championship presented by Hobie. These guys have been fighting all year. We have five different divisions throughout the United States. We've got Texas, Louisiana, two in Florida, and one in South Carolina. These guys came from all those different places to fish this tournament. The winner of this event is going to go to the Hobie Worlds, which is just the Super Bowl of kayaking. So, uh, but I know these guys are excited for it. We've got 42 anglers qualified to fish this two-day event. The championship is a catch photo release format. Anglers are looking to catch the best trout and redfish on each day. Aggregate length determines the champion. For all the details, head on over to ifatours.com. Getting right into day one tournament coverage. Strategy for most is to fish inshore for trout early and move out through the pass in the afternoon for the big reds. The challenge this weekend is the weather. The forecast calls for storms and rough conditions tomorrow. Winds are already picking up and expected to gust near 20. Big soft plastics on heavy weights is the pattern. Anglers want to get that lure down deep along the channel where the schools feed. This is Atlantic Division's Michael Catchman. Uh, got out to the pass, paddled out there. It's rough, you know, a little, little rocky, but totally doable. Started throwing a uh, gulp on a, a six inch gulp swimming mullet on a two ounce headlock Z, uh, Z man jig head. Uh, I was out there for about 20 minutes. Sure enough, I hooked up and I knew it was an absolute beast. It was a hair over 45 inches, maybe 45 and a quarter. It was a personal best for me, a redfish. Uh, prior to that, 42 on a kayak, the biggest I ever got. So. It was an absolute beast. I had to pull the drive out of the kayak just to make enough room for him to lay on the deck. By late afternoon, the schools are running strong and anglers are logging some of the biggest reds of the year. Part of the challenge are the big schools of jacks. This is North Carolina's Justin Reinhardt. He's come a long way to have this much fun. By the end of the day, Justin had the numbers to lock up second place going into the final day. He had a game plan and uh, stuck to it and ended up working out surprisingly. So uh, had a pretty good day, especially compared to the last couple days I've been pre-fishing. Um, was just really happy to get out there and uh, finally caught a bull. So ended up being a pretty good day, yeah. Checking the top 10 on the Hobie leaderboard. Louisiana's Brendan Bayard picked up a 23 inch trout early, then a 41 and a quarter inch redfish to claim the lead. I think this is a solid day one number. Uh, so if I can even get, you know, four inches less than this tomorrow, I'll be feeling pretty happy. There you have it. Day one is in the books. We'll get into the second and final day in a bit, but first we'll head to Australia's Gold Coast for the 2019 Hobie Worlds, right here on the IFA Kayak Tour presented by Hobie, part of IFA Redfish Tour TV. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors, we love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus free two day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. At Ranger, our dedication to real quality and craftsmanship runs deep. You'll see the rewards in every saltwater model we build. From our commitment to constant research and innovation, to the design and construction of our own components, we're focused on solid confidence and lasting peace of mind. The Ranger Saltwater Series. It's a legacy of leadership engineered for optimum performance, while consistently reinforcing the ultimate ownership experience. Learn more at rangerboats.com. This segment of the IFA Redfish Tour is presented to you by 
Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Mercury Outboards, go boldly. The sport of kayak fishing is one of the fastest growing segments of the industry. And if you're a kayak angler, the Hobie Worlds are the pinnacle of the sport. All right, man, we're here uh, in Queensland, Australia, uh, sunny Gold Coast for the Hobie Fishing Worlds 8. Matthew Van qualified for the Hobie Worlds through IFA Kayak Tour presented by Hobie. Matthew's now part of the eight-man team representing Team USA. Conditions are setting up. I think it's going to be an amazing event, uh, but this venue and the waterways are magnificent. They're, I mean, they're just beautiful. The Gold Coast runs 41 miles along scenic Queensland shoreline on the east side of Australia. Man, I'm totally pumped. I've wanted to come to Australia my whole life. Uh, qualifying was just a dream come true, and I've had uh, unbelievable red carpet treatment since I've been here. Uh, it's an awesome experience, man. There's nothing like it. Uh, everybody from uh, all over the United States works real hard to get to this event, and uh, being here, it's uh, second to none. There's nothing like it. It's, it truly is a world-class event. With 43 countries represented from around the globe, the Hobie Worlds is modeled off an old Hobie favorite. One of the nice things about the, the Hobie Fishing Worlds is that like our sailing, we've tried to make it a very level playing field. In this case, the, uh, the kayak of choice is the Pro Angler Series, and this one this weekend we're using the Pro Angler 14. Uh, and everything is identical, and the idea is that anglers from around the world can fly in, and you've got a fair playing field, and that way the angler, the best angler wins. After two days of practice, anglers will compete for three days. The target species is the yellow brim, a challenging fish with patterns not unlike the sheep's head along the Gulf Coast of North America. Uh, waterway is very similar to what I do back home. Uh, we're going to be fishing in uh, moving water with current, salt water, uh, targeting yellowfin brim, um, fishing structure primarily, and dr ledges, drop-offs, pontoons, rock piles, stuff like that. The challenge may not be so much in finding them as it is in getting a lure into their notoriously harsh environment. It's barnacle encrusted oysters there. They're a very difficult fish to get out, very difficult fish to catch, but when you do catch them, they're a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of variables change. These fish love to hit one day and then they might not hit again in those same spots for three or four days. So, but I've got a pattern. I was able to duplicate the pattern throughout the fishery at that point. So. I'm feeling pretty good. One of the new elements to the Hobie Worlds is the live weigh-in. The all-new Hobie Live Well is a game changer. In the past, we've done the catch, photo, and release competitions. Here we've gone with a live weigh-in. In such, we've put the brand new Hobie V2 Live Well in the back, and anglers then keep their catch in the live well prior to the uh, finishing time. We get them in a weigh bag, bring them on stage, and it's a live weigh-in. So, you really probably, we've optimized the kayak just for this competition at Hubby Fishing Worlds 8. Heading to the leaderboard at the end of day one. As expected, the Aussies are in control and native son Jack Gammy has the lead. Part of the experience at the Hobie Worlds is the nightlife. And this year, anglers were treated to several events, including an evening run down the coast, complete with a beautiful look at the culture. It's all just part of the experience when you qualify for the Hobie Worlds. Fishing for three days, anglers will get to put their skills to the test. The new Hobie Livewell will allow catch and release tournaments to become the norm, regardless of the size of craft. By week's end, Team Aussie put their local knowledge to use locking up eight of the top 10, and Andrew Death came out on top. Oh mate, I'm spinning. I'm spinning. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. It's a big one. It's such an amazing, amazing buzz to um to win it and win it by such a small margin against such a quality field. So. For complete coverage of the 2019 Hobie Worlds from Queensland, Australia, look up Hobie Outdoor Adventures on outdooraction.com. Coming up, we'll stop in at iCast for a look at the all-new Hobie Mirage Drive, right here on the IFA Kayak Tour presented by Hobie, part of IFA Redfish Tour TV. When you're in command of a boat with Mercury 400 horsepower Verados, 
you might start to feel like you're someone that fish should fear, that the water should respect, and that the world should acknowledge. Until you realize you are all those things. The new Mercury 400 horsepower Verado. Power, control, and speed in a lightweight package. The new Spin Fisher 6, the strongest spin fisher in a line of legendary spinning reels. And our proprietary CNC gearing is precision cut from brass and aluminum to create a gear system that's smooth out of the box and durable over the lifetime of the reel. Sealed from top to bottom to improve IPX5 standards, the new Spin Fisher 6 can be sprayed and splashed from all directions and still won't allow water into the gearbox or drag system. That reel did the job there. I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Powerpole Shallow Water Anchor System, by Penn Reels, let the battle begin, by Hobie Kayaks and the revolutionary Mirage Drive, and by Lucas Oil and Marine Products. Every year, the top manufacturers in the fishing industry come together to display the latest and greatest of their newest products. It's called iCast, and this year it was held in Orlando, Florida. And we're here to check out the newest advancements in the updated Hobie Mirage Drive. Hi there, my name's Kevin, and I work for Hobie. I want to show you the most amazing propulsion system to grace the kayak fishing industry since the Mirage Drive, the original one in 1997. Well, what you see here is the Mirage Drive 360. This is literally what you think it is. It goes in 360 degrees, a perfect circle all the way around the boat. Wherever you want to go, this Mirage Drive is going to take you there. I'm going to show you one on the boat here, um, but you can see that as the Mirage Drive is pedaling, you can also rotate the lower unit in any direction you want. Aside from that, we've also introduced another feature called the kick-up fin. I'll show you on that one over there. I have a Mirage Drive ready, but you can touch it and anything you're going over, like rocks, any gravel, cement, uh, grass, it will pop up and it will actually go over that stuff. So you don't have to worry about hitting an obstruction anymore. You can just pedal, think about just fishing. So let's take a look at one of them in the boats. So this is what the Mirage Drive 360 looks like in one of our kayaks. This is the Pro Angler 14 in the Arctic Blue Camo, which we just introduced with this unit. I'm gonna pull it out of here. Again, this is the same drive you saw up there. But let me show you those kick-up fins. Anything you're gonna go over, it just pops up like that. So you can go over rocks, you can go over a sandbar, and you never have to worry about flattening out the drive like you used to. So it's a really cool feature in addition to the 360 degree turning, directional turning that we've introduced on the Mirage Drive itself. So it's gonna go right on in there like that and it locks in there. That's how it locks, just one single lock. And I'm gonna turn the handle right here and you're gonna see that directional indicator, that, that little po arrow pointing around is gonna rotate. So right now, it's actually going in reverse. And now it's going forward. So any direction you wanna go, including backwards, forwards, sideways, you can do it with this boat. And you can also do it with the rudder. So we have a rudder Still on the same rudder that we've included on Pro Angler series since we introduced the Pro Angler in 2009. And you can turn the rudder in addition to turning the drive. So actually this right here, this orientation, you can crab crawl parallel to the shoreline and cast at your bow, off your bow and off, off to a shoreline, just pedaling down the shoreline. It's really amazing. It's, it's hard to explain until you try, but um, it is really going to change the way a lot of people bass fish, is for sure. Inshore fishing, it's going to be amazing. Anywhere you're going to be dealing with tight quarters, this drive is really going to do something um, really unique for you and, and give you the extra advantage. So we hope you enjoy uh, checking out our product here at Hope the Hobie booth. The Mirage Drive 360, it's revolutionized kayak fishing again, and we hope you get out there on the water and try it. 
Back in Grand Isle, anglers launch day two of the 2019 IFA Kayak Championships presented by Hobie under threatening skies. Rough. <laughs> we got big storms rolling through. Hopefully some of them will skirt us and miss us by a little bit, but looks like there's a window of opportunity to get out in the pass early for a little while. That's why there's so many kayaks here. A tactic right now is to get a bull, get off of the big water early, and then concentrate as the weather gets worse after the day uh, gets going uh, to get out and maybe fish trout or if you need to absolutely catch uh, you know a, a marsh red or something like that as a layup at the end of the day. Um, I think uh, it's just only going to get worse today. Uh, we have lightning kind of shooting up all around us. Uh, everybody's got the rain gear handy and uh, uh, what's, uh, what's the tournament without a little bit of a weather challenge. Checking the Hobie leaderboard, Louisiana's Brendan Bayard has the advantage with North Carolina's Justin Reinhardt in second. Getting right out on the water for day two, this is tournament leader Brendan Bayard. Not too big, but I'll take it. Starting the day with a three and a quarter inch lead over the rest of the field, Brendan's picked up a trout early. One good redfish could solidify his weekend. Let's get tired. That feels good. All right, ain't too bad. Yeah, exactly. Oh, almost 40. That's all I, that's all I need. Makes it interesting with these guys. He's been good. He's gonna get to go back. Make some more. Clean swim. It's good when they swim off good like this. This time of year they get it gets really hot. Yeah. And it's a lot better to catch them with that big rod because I can get them in sooner. And I don't have to bring them to the brink with that little rod. So alright guys. Thank you so much. Louisiana's Brendan Bayard is in control. Coming up, we'll wrap up the highlights from the 2019 IFA Kayak Tour Championship presented by Hobie from Grand Isle, Louisiana. Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. Lucas Oil Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Outboard Engine Oil will not only produce a level of confidence with each trip to the lake, but will provide trust backed by rigorous testing on the track as well as on the water. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil has an extensive additive package that will provide clean burning, smooth running, and maximum performance stability to any outboard on the market today. Lucas Synthetic Blend 2-Cycle Oil will not void your manufacturer's warranty. Protect your investment with Lucas Marine Products. Lucas Oil. It works. The IFA Redfish Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, is also brought to you in part by Navionics, your sixth sense on the water, Berkeley Gull Saltwater, Fishing Evolved, and by Atlas Hydraulic Jack Plates. Welcome back to Grand Isle, Louisiana. It's the final day of the Kayak Tour Championship, presented by Hobie, and conditions are tough. This weekend, uh, coming in the September 13th, 14th weekend, we are on a full moon, so that gives them a little bit more tide action going on. So they having to deal with that a little bit. Also, the weather's changing. You know, we had a sunny day on the first day, had a cloud cover on the second day, some storms moving through. So a lot of adjustments having to be made. Whether they made the right one, we'll uh, have to wait and see it just a little bit. But you know, the guys that do make the right call in the mornings, sometimes that second morning, you know, like I say, we had cloud cover, they might've went after that trout a little earlier or the redfish a little earlier, and it may change the way the day goes. Midway through the final day and anglers are still maneuvering for position. This is Florida's Matthew Van. The plan did not work this morning. 
all my trout were under 12 inches. I caught about 20 and I just could not find a keeper. I just grounded out on those rocks. I caught five different species, none of which were speckled trout. So I did get a 41 inch bull on a popping cork in the past. So now I am headed to try to get me a trout in the marsh. The wind just picked up. Hopefully all those guys that are out there that need bulls get them. But I'm about to head up in the marsh and go see if I can get me a trout. I don't think what I got, I don't think I can make up enough ground to get back in the top 10 unless everyone out there fails, but I'm gonna give it a go. Later. Good luck, bro. Moving on, this is Justin Reinhardt. He started the day in second, just three and a quarter inches behind the leader. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh. Oh, he's right here. Fishing Berkeley Gulf on a big two ounce weight, Justin lands, then pulls a big red onto the measuring board. There we go. Oh. Look at this right guy. All right. Let's see what he is. I don't think he's as big as yesterday, but it's a nice way to start. It's a nice one, not quite as nice as yesterday, but he was in the upper 30s, so I was just happy to get, get a nice one on the board and uh, stayed out there trying to upgrade and caught a couple more fish, but wasn't able to upgrade. And then from there, the, uh, the conditions really started to deteriorate real quick. So made the call to uh, switch from that to go back to trout fishing, because I had a really small, barely legal trout from this morning, and I knew that was probably the best opportunity to get more inches on the board. Back at Bridgeside Marina, the storms held off and it was a good two days of competition. Michael Catchman slipped in the overall standings. I to be in the top 10. I was sitting in fourth after day one. I don't think I've, uh, I think I've slid down a few spots. I tried uh, later in the day, we left and went up into some marsh spots and it was still really, actually really rough and white capping even in the marsh. So. It was tough fishing in there too, you know, throwing throwing light jigs, but I picked up another half a dozen trout and uh, never did upgrade, but uh, it was a grind all day everywhere I went. Holding on to the Big Fish Award, he still earned $600 for the week. And on top, Brendan Bayard led the event wire to wire. It was, it was a grind. I mean, it was like kind of persevere all weekend until you catch a fish and like, when they're not biting and you just kind of like, you're too tired, your shoulder's hurting, and I was like, all right, I gotta give it. I, I gotta give it my all. And so, I don't know. I, I, I've never fished for bulls that hard in my life, and it paid off. And so I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty happy, and uh, whoo! You'll take home a nice $3,000 prize package, plus an entry to the 2020 Hobie Worlds. Congratulations. Justin Reinhardt locked up second place in the 2019 National Angler of the Year, earning him $2,900 for the weekend. It's not something I, I was thinking about at all. I just wanted to come down here and do good and uh, was lucky enough to do good. And then this was kind of just a bonus that I didn't even honestly think about until end of day one. And then um, Derek Engel, who I thought was going to beat me for Florida East Coast Angler, I thought he was for sure going to take it. So it was kind of out of the question, but you know, the cards fell my way and it worked out good and it's just, it's it's unbelievable feeling. For information on the all new Hobie Mirage Drive or the Hobie Pro Angler, head on over to Hobie.com. If you'd like to join us on the 2020 season of the IFA Kayak Tour presented by Hobie, look us up at IFATours.com. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's is a joint venture between Outdoor Teamworks and Carico TV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.